Okay. Uh, I am playing Alien Isolation, which has finally been released for Linux. It's, uh, the release was originally going to be uh, last month, but they held it held it back for some more polishing. Welcome, A Ripley. So, some uh, quick background on the game for those people who are not aware. Uh, you are Ellen Ripley's daughter who spent 15 years searching for her mother after she went missing on the Nostromo. You've been approached by a representative of the company and invited along on a mission uh, to uh, a space station where they have the flight recorder of the Nostromo. So, uh, joint interest. The company wants a flight recorder. You know what that is? Alright, these are phones are save points. Now, I've played this bit. This is obviously, we're not nowhere near aliens yet. On this point, this is all perfectly safe. Nothing to worry about. Uh, nothing at this point is going to jump out at you. You're basically just learning the controls. Uh, so I played this. I played this without screen recording software on. Um, I'll just hit escape and review the settings. Uh, full screen, I've set it to native resolution. Uh, VSync off, level detail low, shadow resolution, all of that's fairly low. Most things are off. I turned on uh, volumetric lighting and anti aliasing. And yeah, like I said, I set it to full screen. It was originally uh, some sort of scaled 11, 11, 52, I think. I can't remember. But I set it to full resolution. Uh, when I was playing earlier without the screen recording, that was fine. Now that I'm actually recording, it has to be said this is a little bit laggy. Uh, so I have an NVIDIA 760, uh, I'm running Fedora, I'm obviously running the, uh, the uh, closed source drivers. Save the game. Yes, let's overwrite the save data. There's an icon for the save. So, yeah, I've got a mid range graphics card. I've got uh, an AMD CPU. It's a bit past it. Get on for six years old now. That'll be the next thing to replace. Oh, we're lagging a bit here, look. And so, oh, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to the Nostromo. Yes, M-class. A later pattern, but close inspection. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor? She's not a seasoned traveller. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. So there we go. I've got a new mission. Let's just explore this area first. Uh, one of the nice things about this uh, this game is the attention to detail. There's a uh, all sorts of little touches. It's very reminiscent of the uh, original movie, original Alien movie from the 80s. 
there's, there's a whole I've, I've skipped over it but there's a whole sort of a title sequence which is basically just a uh, basically you know just like a movie now uh, what I'm going to do is let's try turning something off in the graphics so I'm going to turn off the volumetric lighting and the anti aliasing off off yes now at some point I'm going to have to look and see if that made an obvious difference it's not making it it's not making it any smoother to be fair so I might as well turn it all back on again so yeah like I said uh, mid-range hardware on lowest settings it's so far it's been playable for me I've not yet I've not yet got to uh, any real action bits let's turn that all back on again resume game I'm not going to the action bit so I'm not sure exactly yeah you see you gotta love it just like being in the movie if, you, if you're my sort of age or even a bit older I suppose I wasn't really old enough to go and see this in the cinema I did watch it uh, and when I say this I mean the original alien movie I did watch it when I was about 11 or 12 which I wasn't old enough to see then either. Taylor, good morning Ripley it's certainly not good I very much doubt it's morning either sorry I feel like death I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly you get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. Realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. So I've completed that objective. All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sebastopol Station. Looks like we're up. There's these terminals that have, you know, background stories, as far as I can tell. You do get an achievement for accessing the first one. There's another achievement for accessing... Oh, was it 50 of them? Something like that. Oh, not rescue. Q. Q. There we go. See, I love this. It's like the uh, graphics by ZX81, which is all is all very much in line with uh, the look of the ship in the movie. Oh, doors. So we're going to basically. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old. Empire. We're going to arrive at she Sevastopol Station. And, a lot of to and uh, note Based that everything yourself. appears to have gone wrong. And us, having seen the film, have a pretty good idea of what's gone wrong, wait, which uh, right? builds the tension. I find. Good. Let's get this done. But um. In and out. Oh, Connor, how are we doing? SMG loaded and oh, see, that's that bit's in the movie. So I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Yeah, you can watch the approach on the monitors. Now I do know that collecting the briefing document. Collecting the briefing document ends this section. So I'm just taking the opportunity to uh, have a little scout around this area. And there are the briefing documents. So let's pick one up and head to the cutscene. So, 
The one bit I have noticed Can we see it? Is that the it's audio and the video seem to be well out of sync station. in the cutscenes. Is uh, there damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel Torrens out of sync. Lip sync. Lip sync well off there. Obviously, you don't need to be doing anything except watching it at this time. So, it doesn't really matter. It's just an aesthetic thing. The other bit I've noticed where it gets really slow is earlier transitions. It just seems to hang up hang up for a long time there. Uh, there's not a lot of disk activity that I can sell. Mark, My mail light isn't flashing away, so I presume it's some um, background OpenGL processing going on. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, uh, low settings seems to be playable. The station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so our fitted Samuel suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. So we have 24 Safe hours trip. to get there and get back. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Now, uh, I should point out uh, horror movies, not really my thing. Horror games, not really my thing. This, this will probably be the last time I play this game in the dark. I, I am not wanting to get the pants scared off me a few hours before I go to bed. Uh, so, in a minute, after we go through this cutscene, we're going to get across to the station. Slightly laggy look around. Okay. Again, I'm screen recording the software. This probably isn't the best game to be attempting that sort of thing with. Uh, do you know, at the times when I have looked, the screen recording the software basically locks up, locks up one whole core when it's when it's recording. So uh, older games will get away with it. Uh, newer games, especially the graphically intensive ones. I didn't even try doing Shadow of Mordor, that would probably have been a disaster. So this, let's see how it goes. This is where it all hung up, the little circle just stopped spinning around. Yeah, seems to be going alright this time. Maybe it's optimised a bit. It's giving us all advice about survival crafting. So yes, I, I'm not into uh, basically being scared. That's not that's not how I get off. Uh, I played this. I basically played through a bit of this level, and I was scared. Uh, there was actually no sign of the alien at any point. And uh, the funny thing was, I checked the uh, the Steam achievements afterwards, and although I think uh, more than eighty five percent of people have have basically got this far. Only only 58% of people have got far enough of the game to uh, come across the alien. Which you've got to admit is kind of funny really in a game that's all about the alien. So what I'm looking for now is crafting crafting stuff. Is there any crafting stuff around? Evac, nothing here. Oh, we're lagging a bit. Uh, there we go. 
So again, I can save my progress manually at the uh, registration point. I can collect whatever that is. Save game. Yes. I am playing on easy, obviously. Uh, the recommended, the recommended uh, difficulty is hard. Uh, so I am at least two below. Two below the recommended difficulty. I have no shame. Oh. <laughs> no shame at all. I can tell you. So, we're just exploring. We're lagging a little bit with the smoke and everything. This was okay earlier. Tunnel. So, let me just summarise while I uh, go through this bit. The, the atmosphere of this game is just superb, absolutely superb. If you are, uh, like I was saying, I was walking around to this earlier while well, crawling or whatever. And it, it is just scary. The whole ambience, the whole, the whole noises going on, all of that stuff. All that stuff, just fantastic. I'm, uh, the performance, it's okay. See, I'm crouching, I don't know why I'm crouching. There we go. That's the terminal. It does say C to crouch a lot of the time, and then uh, it just crouches automatically, which is which is a bit weird. And you have to C to uncrouch afterwards. Uh, yeah, like I said, it is a bit. Ooh. Let's collect collect materials. I've not got to any of the crafting yet. It's, you know, survival horror, fairly common sort of, uh, fairly common sort of deal. I don't even know how you get to. Oh, here we go. All right, so I've reached save points. My objective is over here. Archive logs. I found more so far. The Stromo logs, I've not found any of them. Personnel log. I've not found any missing persons yet. Okay. Uh, like the old uh, 80s VHS uh, effects here. That's how I access my personal terminal. Now I suspect, did I save earlier? I don't, I can't remember. So, uh, I won't spoil what's going to happen next. Uh, like I said, it's a pretty scary game and I've not even got to any of the good bits yet. I'm not going to play this in the dark again. The Linux port seems playable if you uh, have only mid-range hardware. I'm not sure what it's going to be like on a, on better hardware. Or what what you'd sort of hardware you're going to need to be able to play it on ultra settings. But uh, yes, without the screen recording software on, this is entirely playable uh, on on my uh, Nvidia 760. So if you are concerned about that sort of thing, 
uh, you know, and you've got you've got a card sort of in that sort of range, a 760, a 750 Ti, or a uh, what, a 950, 960. I suppose they're, they're all around the same. Uh, should be all right for you, I think. And uh, yeah, it's on sale at the moment on Steam or from Feral's website, 50% off. Uh, Piece of say for 20 quid. Uh, Alien Isolation Online, let's check it out. <laughs> 